In a January meeting with the Commissioner of the Kentucky Department of Revenue, one thing was clear. There are going to be more audits of Kentucky taxpayers. As taxpayers, our automatic reaction is, oh no. But my guess is that most of us would prefer more audits to new or higher taxes. When giving his 2020 budget address, Governor Andy Bashir said, one source of revenue available to Kentucky is the tax dollars that are owed but haven't been paid. The governor's two-year budget proposal puts his money where his mouth is, or puts our money where his mouth is, by seeking nearly $8 million for hiring additional auditors for the Department of Revenue. The budget then provides for additional income of approximately $34 million from enhanced collection efforts. These measures make sense as they ensure that all citizens are paying their fair share, and that sound public policy and should result in a more fair tax system. With Kentucky's pension and opioid crises, just to name two of the challenges we face, every dollar collected from the state's general fund is critical. Nevertheless, recent tax collections from enforcement efforts have dipped over the last several years as other priorities were pursued. In 2011, slightly over $86 million was collected by the Department of Revenue through taxpayer audits. This amount declined by more than half to $39 million in 2017 before bouncing up to about $58 million in 2018. This graph shows that decrease in revenue from audits between 2011 and 2017 and the 2018 uptick. In that same time period, the auditing staff of the department declined from around 115 to less than 70. Even without those numbers, it probably goes without saying that the fewer auditors you have, the fewer dollars you collect. So what is a taxpayer to do in the face of these enhanced enforcement efforts? Here is a list of our three recommendations. First, check or double check and make sure that you're current on all of your taxes. This may sound fundamental, but sometimes things fall between the cracks or a cash shortfall puts a business in a pinch. There are ways to come clean that can often result in a reduction or waiver of penalties. Think of this as playing offense instead of playing defense. Second, if you get correspondence from the Department of Revenue, or any tax authority for that matter, set aside all your natural instincts and don't delay. Open that mail now. Letters or notices from tax departments are not like cheese nor wine. They do not get better with age. Also, if you receive a tax notice or letter from the department, before you respond, make sure you know exactly what's being asked. You might find that Kentucky is asking you about your Kentucky taxes and also asking on behalf of Indiana and Ohio whether you have anything going on in those states. With any kind of request from a taxing authority, you want to honestly and fully respond. However, you don't have to give away the farm. Third, get your questions answered. What's that? You don't have any questions? Then ask a tax professional what questions you should be asking. Massive changes have taken place in Kentucky's income and sales tax over the last two years, as well as almost every other state in the country. These changes are impacting nearly every individual in business. Ask whether there is something you should be doing that you are not. In each of these instances, if at all possible, seek help from a tax professional. Believe it or not, I'm saying that not for my benefit, but for yours.